What's going on? Going to do a quick video on the uh, Auto Tool X60. It's basically just a little OB2 um, gauge plus code reader. And it also says clock. So, but it's super cheap. It was like 30 bucks on eBay. Um, I have one of the older style scan gauges. Scan gauge still makes them. They're a lot more than this. And there's a tons of different ones, but I like this one because it's got a little gauge and an own mount and everything. I'm replacing my old one because it's broken, beat up looking. And it's basically just find a spot for it, hide the wire, plug in the OBD2 port. Um, I have a spot where I think I'm going to mount it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the old one out, put the new one in, and then we'll show some of the settings. Before I mount it, I'm going to show you everything you get. Gauge with a little base, a little Phillips to tighten it. You get a lot of the OBD2 wire. You know, from just a little port. It's an OBD2 port, and it's a flat wire, and you get some 3 end tape. All packaged pretty nicely, and a little manual. So, like I said, uh, this old one down here is all busted. Old. I've been still using it. So that's coming out, and hopefully I can make it fit nicely in here. So, that's my goal. So, wires all hid. I went overly excessive and took off the bottom knee bolster, tucked it all in nicely, and now I got it sitting down here in my little cubby so I can hit the buttons and everything. Now, um, I always have this problem with anything off eBay or Amazon. The sticky tape they give you is trash, and I don't have any other 3M stuff to uh, make it work. So, this is where it's gonna be, and you got your button right on top. You can reach it, I can push it down, left and right i'll probably have to leave it unplugged since the car is not gonna be moving for a little while but let me uh start the car now it takes a second to connect all right and uh there we are so it remembers what you had it set on last and uh, I got mine set up for uh, intake temp down here at the bottom. I got coolant temp and voltage. And uh, there are some quick menus. Like you can go ahead and scroll through them a little bit. But your top here is for uh, your alarm, those dots. And the bottom I have set up, you can set up for I think mile per gallon or RPM. It's just a rough RPM. Yeah, see, just kind of rough. It's not that quick, but um, kind of cool to have that little feature. You can change that. So we'll go into the menu, and you can see there's your OBD2 scan. Push the button down, and then you can hit scan. It's not going to find anything. And then you hold the button down to go back in menu. Hold it down again to go back in menu. You got, you know, driving test, brake, speed. Not sure if I'll ever use that. And uh, go back a menu. Here's uh, settings. So you can set your engine size, fuel to gas or diesel, over speed alarm. So you can pop that up. Changes where you want an alarm to come on if you're speeding. You can do one for coolant. Drop it down real low, set it wherever you want. Uh, shift RPM. Now, for some reason, the shift on this won't go past 6,000, uh, which is kind of weird. And then, uh, what this does here is once you're over this speed, the shift light won't work anymore. It's just, you know, you got sleep timer which is set at 30 seconds adjustment for different things voltage and then this is your color you can pick colors so I'll change that change blue purple you got a lot of little adjustments you can set a clock but yeah that's basically it units Hold it down, go back, hold it down, go back. 
and there we go now we have purple numbers and uh, like I said this up here should be the alarm and um, that you can change between fuel economy and RPM so I think it's a pretty cool little gauge um, yeah there's a better look at the buttons so you can change the color and all that and this is your alarm light and not bad for 30 bucks just uh, grab some real 3m tape so that you're not uh, messing with it that's basically it that was a real quick little video on installing that and um, once I get some tape I'll permanently mount it where I want it but hopefully this is a little bit more info than I've seen on the little gauge and like I said it's like 30 bucks on eBay um, it's a lot cheaper than some of the other ones and you can display up to three things on there. So I think it's kind of useful. So hope you guys liked the video. Till next time.